<laughs> we got ourselves a privacy tent and a new shower. He's testing it out. Where's my Mr. Bubble? <laughs> Is it working? Oh yeah, it's working. See? I don't know if we're going to keep the bucket or not. We haven't decided. And here's our new tent. I'm bubbling. <laughs> there, now you can see it. We're playing in the backyard. There's our new tent, smaller and easier to put up. <laughs> what was that all about? I was gargling. <laughs> Is your water lasting a while? Yes. Is it going low yet? It's about half. Well, that's a quick shower. We'll it's like the water that's, whoops. Yeah, rather than using it like a shower head, you just put it in the bucket. So while it's running, you're recycling the water. Yep. And then when you're done soaping up, <laughs> pick it up. You're done soaping. Oh. So and just it. hold it and rinse yourself off. There you go. And then you don't use up your water as much. Okay. <laughs> There, it's still going. Yep. But the water's just going right back in the bucket. Now pick it up and rinse off your hair. You're done shampooing your head. Okay. Yay! I think that's so fun. We can take hot showers. Yes, you have to, to warm the water on the stove, though. We just warmed it in the sink. It's kind of gathering water on the floor, but... Well, it depends on your ground, I think. So <laughs> after the shower, if you've got some water on the floor, we can just dump it off, I think. Oh, by just lifting it up a little bit and it runs out the edges. <laughs> so here is like the game changer. Our privacy tent now has a bathroom. Of course, we don't have a bag in it. I'm go, gonna go demonstrate. I'm gonna go bagless. Go demonstrate. How does it work? Where are the buttons? All right. Yay! Give me a stick shift right here, right? <laughs> shift gears. Gear one, gear two, you're going two gears. That's going to be a game changer for me. It is. Be able to go to the bathroom whenever I want. You just have to wait for the bear to get out. TC, do you like our new tent? And our new mattress? So this is our new tent that we bought on the road, impromptu. And because our air mattress doesn't fit, we have to come up with new air mattress options. But what we love about this is it's just one of these on each edge. Our last one had two on each edge and I could hardly reach the other ones because I'm short. So this one's so much easier to put up. <laughs> And so we're doing new air mattress. So show us how thick that one is, dear. We bought one to test and it will fit. We don't want to touch the sides in case it rains. We're close. So here it's supposed to be four inches thick and we can lay on our side and not feel. But the only thing is, is we got to see whether or not it holds air. Or it deflated on us the first time but it self inflates and then you add more air using the little doohiggy behind you dear show them the little doohiggy see, it comes with heaters too yeah these do there Here's with the, the bag, bag you and it, you blow it up with air and then you just there's plenty of videos show you how to do that and then you yeah you push the air down in it it blows up so easy and it is actually comfortable as long as it holds air. So if it works, we're gonna get another one and have a whole new setup with our tent and our privy. <laughs> we're excited. Now we, uh, Tizzy, the, Tizzy, she just, that's her pillow. It's mama's pillow. <laughs> yes. Okay, we're toasting to old camping and new camping. Ah. <laughs> Look at that, isn't that cool? Flame on. I Beautiful. got uh, the old school lantern out. 
with it, the mantle. You know, want to know what a mantle is? It's that little bag in there. Yeah, this, I that. think, is a lantern that we've had since uh, we got married and we first went camping together. And it uses the, the mantles. And I said, what's a mantle? And apparently it's that little bag. We only have one mantle in ours. <laughs> thing over your fireplace. <laughs> we don't have anything to, yeah, you'd normally think of it, that thing over the fireplace. Mm -hmm. But uh, anyway, I feel so old school and we just went and got a whole bunch of new camping gear. I look old school. And we came here to experience it. And um, so, uh, <laughs> can't see you. That's okay. I can see the sun chips and the bottle of wine. Oops. So. <laughs> That's He's hiding mine. it. It's not his. So anyway, the deal is that we didn't want to go very far. We have all this new camping stuff that I'm going to share with you. And we needed to test it. So we just stayed right here at home. And um, on the way here, they were repairing the road both ways. We said, how do strangers get in here? Because we had to take the backcountry roads. And there was a canopy of trees on those backcountry roads, was which beautiful. was super cool. It like was like made an arch over the road. And I think the owners who owned the land had trimmed it that way. And we, it was a great detour. Yeah, it was, it was beautiful. It was mm -hmm. fantabulous fun. That too. So we are both wearing, I turned on the other lantern. This is the modern day. We've had that for a while. It's rechargeable. Don't so uh, this is, what, go, spread your shirt. Excuse me? <laughs> so we can read that it says Cape Girardeau. Like stretch it from left to right. That's all the left and right I got. Okay, let me see. <laughs> I move. I hope that was helpful. There we go. So we both, I love these shirts. I love the color of them. We both got our Cape Girardeau I was apparently established on. in 1793, unbeknownst to me. <laughs> and so we are um, honoring the old camping styles and the new. We should have brought out our old canvas tent. I have my canvas tent from when I was a little girl that I camped in. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Uh, but we that... were going to maybe bring out our canvas tarp, our canopy. Mm -hmm. old school canopy but yes. we uh didn't do that but we we'll we're fair. gonna we're gonna try to put it up in the backyard so we're mm -hmm. celebrating old school like old school lantern new school lantern new, and new all fire, the old fire there all the go. new things and i just took a potty trip in our new privacy tent Oops. that goes up so easy and yes. it was so easy to um Anyway, there there is a uh, bathroom right here, and the first thing the guy said when he saw our privacy tent was, "You can't use that here." But then when I told him we really were just here to test it, I bet we can. <laughs> and we would promised we would um, <clears throat> uh, take, take out any refuse, take our refuse home with us, even not even in the uh, garbage can. He said, "Well, not everybody does that." That's because we're fabulous people. We're fabulous people, and he said we could. So, I just got it. You called it the inaugural. The inaugural poo run. I didn't poo. Secret. P. The inaugural initiation. Is that, TMI, like, isn't it? is that like? Is that like like a double like saying the same thing twice? Inaugural initiation. I believe you double on time. <laughs> I double what? Double entendre. Double entendre. Yeah. Google me, okay? Google me. Entendre. Does anybody know what entendre means? <laughs> so he says it means redundant, and I asked him, how do you spell that? And he said... Redundant starts with an R. No, you said with the alphabet. Entendre, yes, it starts with the alphabet. Entendre. Double entendre. It basically means a repetition of something. Repeat, double. Okay. Just like a word. So inaugural initiation. Would be a double entendre after a fashion. But is there such a thing as a single entendre? <laughs> I guess before they get married, they are single, yes. They did. 
if it comes with what? A hole on top that I can drink out of. You didn't just say that. Twin straws? No. What okay, did you I say? <laughs> oh, this is going to get me down a dirt road. Well, it'll be funny. It is funny. Cause okay. When you drink the whole bottle, it's funny. Er. No. What did you just say? I said, yeah, I'm assuming this comes with a nipple. <laughs> <laughs> because it would be funner. Yeah, it could be funner because, you know, I think I need a nurse at this winery. <laughs> at this winery? Winery. I hope oh. I went at the winery. It's local. I too am local. It was the. Uh, local. Wait a minute. Yep, I'm local. <laughs> right here, right now. It was. In the raw. I'm so sorry about that. It was. Uh, we impromptu came out here, so we put. Why is this bright light glaring at me? Am I under surveillance? <laughs> yes, you are. So I we. I need to stay fast right now, boys. So we said, hey, I got hamburgers in the freezer. What, now, what are we going to eat with it for dinner? Oh, and we geez. said, well, we got to get gas. Let's just pick up chips. So we I did. said, we need to. Uh, Prick up, uh, prick up. <laughs> prick up. Oh, careful now. You're going down a dirt road. Pick up uh, a celebratory bottle of wine. Yes. And uh, that way we could toast to our new equipment. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Your mind's down a dirt road. Uh, well, you you have dragged me down and over the guardrail. You go there all the time by oh, yourself. I don't drag you anywhere. Snakes are in the woods. I and anyway, at a convenience store. That was very convenient. By the <laughs> this way. is the uh, best wine I could come up with. For, I wasn't buying the seventeen dollar bottle of wine. No. Everything's so expensive. So we have our trusty old Coleman, yeah, and we made cheese, some yes. burger patties. They were good and had chips. And yeah. that was our dinner after we set up because we got out here late, and he's still celebrating. And we said, "Shall we get cups?" And, Is that necessary and, <laughs> in the wild? And, you know, we keep everything minimalistic and as easy as possible. I'm going to have to look up that term, by the way. And uh, so I said, well, what are we going to um, toast? How are we going to toast? And I came up with the idea of toasting it hey, I made on the glass of the mantle. We toasted the mantle. I get to make toast in the morning. Yes. I uh, have kept my toaster from when I was a little girl in the early 1960s. Oh, wow. Or late yeah, 1960s. 19? 19? 19. 19. 19. 19. Late 1960s. Late 1960s. No, so we're going to test it right to see how it works. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm under the light. I don't like when the light comes on. <laughs> That's better. So we're playing by the light of the... Sorry, night. Silvery moon is what you said a well, minute ago. Silver, but we don't have a silvery moon. I guess it is a starry night, but actually the old school lamp, and we did this like when we were first married with that lamp, that lamp, and this checkerboard. And uh, I love the way, oops, got water. I love Blue the water. way the uh, light illuminates the checkerboard. So we got these bags on Amazon to go with our toilet and <laughs> this was the only one where the comment said it didn't leak. A lot of the other ones are made to disintegrate for um, environmental purposes. Oh cool, it says it has strings, drawstrings. So all you do is put it over the seat and then put the little clip in there and it works great. We just kept our toilet paper handy here to reach down. And we used it all night in our new privy, also known as a privacy tent. This is the one we bought um, because the review said it didn't, uh, like if you were inside with the light on, it doesn't show through. And it did have bad reviews that uh, at the top it would rain in, but I'm not too worried about that it, because it's meant to take a shower in. So if it gets a little water in it, that's fine. See, it has a zipper up here and the zipper is not waterproof. It comes through just a tiny bit, apparently. I don't know. That's just what the review said. So we have a window, have a little bag here. This is part, uh, something we liked because sometimes we don't have any place to hang our towels to dry and we're hanging them all over the truck. So uh, that is uh, great. And uh, we liked that it has a floor. So not all of them had a floor. So that's another reason we picked this one. 
and you see in the corners um, it allows the water when you take a shower to go through and we did buy a shower so we're excited about all the new things we got to camp but this is a game changer let me tell you for the middle of the night oh why didn't I buy this earlier we're just sharing all our new stuff so here's our tent it's much smaller than the other one and for old people we love it it just is one of these on each side and it just goes up so quickly the last one we had for like nine years had two and I could not reach the second set I'm too short I'm like five three and we just wanted something to be easier but then our mattress didn't fit uh, and I love our mattress our big one that's tall that you can sit on so we had to come up with a different thing and so we now have two of these self-inflating air mattresses and they're not as comfortable as our other one but they're fairly comfortable and we th we bought these because they're 32 and a half inches wide and I sleep on my side and my knee sticks out and I'm a large woman and so it gives me plenty of space and there's plenty of space for the dogs to tuck in here it worked out really well now we forgot to bring our sheet I believe our queen size sheet will fit on both of these together and we're going to test that when we get home but it was important you know you don't want to touch the sides we don't have a whole lot of room you don't want to touch the sides because that will uh, bring in rain we are going to uh, spray this tent down I learned that from my dad um, you buy the the waterproof spray that you spray on boots and clothes and you spray down your entire tent. My dad used to do that once a year. He went a little overboard with our canvas tent. But this is nice. And this tarp, our old tent used to be as uh, big as this tarp. And we did not, um, you know, stake down the tent because there was no rain expected. But this is not necessarily waterproof if we're expecting um, rain or bad weather. We'll have to um, tuck this tarp in underneath the tent, uh, which is no big deal, uh, and and uh, stake it down. But we do have this much space on each side, and we were able just to lay our air mattresses here and blow them up. They're real easy to do. Now, we leave most of the stuff in the truck and work out of the truck, and that way um, it's with us uh, when we drive away. If we um, go camping and then uh, go on an adventure. Most of our stuff stays with us so it doesn't get stolen and you don't have to carry it around. So we redid our camp kitchen. We used to have just this small tub here and then two larger ones but they were getting too hard to carry and we had to redo them so I'm going to show you what we've got. We can't hardly carry this so um, we need to uh, get a different water source yet. So um, what I've always done is to take a baggie, sandwich baggie. This needs to be re-taped down. It didn't hold well. And I type up what's inside so we can find things. So we have our pot set, percolator, campfire forks, barbecue turner, the long one. So that's why we made this box long one. Before it was in a big tub and we had to angle the long sticks down, the dish washing tubs, and the coffee press. So here is the inside of it. Now <laughs> it's hard for me to show you because we made hamburgers in the skillet and we plan on bringing our cast iron skillets off the kitchen stove, but we forgot to bring them. Um, so we do did have to use this. This is my parents from back in the late 60s when we went camping or in the 70s it's aluminum and it works so great so it packs in here because it goes like this so this is the lid which is also the frying pan and it has this here so when you're on the stove this goes in this way so you can hold it and when you want to carry it to the table you just turn it over like that 
And uh, so that makes the frying pan, but also the lid for the pot. So the handle goes down in here and I make green beans and corn in here. And you see the handle works on here too. Um, so I, I make a lot of things in this little pot here. And then you have a little bit larger pot, which also has a lid that fits. Whoops. I don't know. That lid doesn't fit. There are some plates and then the big pot. So that is super cool how it gets so compact and we use it all the time. This dirty utensil came out of this box. So we have all of the utensils we have ever needed in here. You know, here's a peeler, which I use often. And slotted spoons, which I use often. There's a couple pair of tongs. This one was is old, used to be mine when I was a child. It's funny, I can go through here and pick out the things from my parents' camping experience. We have a very sharp knife down in there. And underneath there, we have these two tubs. Now, <laughs> I'll tell you where I got these from. These were from my sits baths. <laughs> so when you have children and you get sent home from the hospital in the 80s, they send you home with these to take sits, what they call sits baths. <laughs> and I saved them and we use them as our camp kitchen. But, and they fit right in here. And you know, they, you can always put something else inside them. So that works out well. This is the percolator and we use it all the time that to, to uh, we'd use it mostly to um, heat water uh, my cap came off and this was also from my childhood camp kitchen and down there are those long things so if you build a campfire and you want to um, cook over a campfire you got tools and this is for coffee See, he just grabbed the paper towels out of that one. I wanted to share with you, we've just bought these brand new. And those uh, dishwashing tubs, we may replace them with these. They're collapsible, which is cool. And so we can wash dishes in here or it actually holds to carry water. Um, and our shower we're going to try out in a minute. Uh, we used this one to hold water for our shower. So these four were in my parents' old camp kitchen. I just had to get them out to show you. I never use them. We always use the other ones because I don't want to damage them. Dad worked for um, the Chevrolet building trucks in downtown St. Louis. The number one team. So he must have got this from them. And I like this one at the teapot. This one's well worn. We keep plastic utensils in here. This is for washing dishes. We got a little thing of Dawn and we use this with the tubs and some scrubbies. And we put hot water in one tub and cold in the other. We warm up the water in the percolator on the stove and the warm water's for rinsing to um, Here's just some plastic cups we keep on hand. We have two camp mugs. We had more. We got rid of them um, when we were repackaging because we never use them. We have wipes. Um, these are baggies. So you got leftover food. We use those all the time. We have um, plates, bowls. This is our metal silverware. This is my cutting board. We use that all the time with that sharp knife in the other one. And this is the camp toaster. There's some foil. So here's the other box. We used to have all this combined tablecloth, tablecloth holders, clothespins, in case you'd want to use your line, a squeeze bottle, and the refillable items. And there's a plastic box that has all those things in it. Gonna get some water started.
So when you open it up, it's two old towels. You never know when you forget to pack your towels. <laughs> you may need that. Otherwise, we use them as part of our camp kitchen. We will lay this out on the table, and when you're drying your dishes, you just lay it on there. And um, we've talked about getting smaller towels now, but we may do that. And in here you have trash bags. Fire starters take up a lot of room. You have batteries. These are the tablecloth holders. Um, extra toilet paper in case you forget to bring some. There's the squeeze bottle. Uh, this is... <laughs> The clothespins from when my parents had their camp kitchen in a little box. I love it. All these great memories. This box, there's the tablecloth. And this box is other fire starting stuff. So we keep these and some emergency stuff. Matches. There's candles for an emergency. There's... Um, a knife sharpener. There is a knife. We always keep a tin can. <laughs> if you're ever in an emergency, there, tin cans can be used for a lot of things, including those candles and um, duct tape. You always need duct tape. This is an original box. It says charge lantern, a reminder, because we have a rechargeable lantern that goes in here. I think it's in the tent, uh, but that's what's in here. This is the camp tools instead of camp box. So the lantern goes in here, the extra stakes, gloves, our rope, our first aid kit. That's uh, for the lantern, some bungee cords. One last thing to show you that we always bring camping is this little table and it's great because it'll fit flat on top of the boxes. It goes together like that. So if you don't have a picnic table, you always have a table for your Coleman stove. <laughs> Cheers, campfire tea. Okay, so we're gonna get ready to take a shower. We've got hot water here. Let's see how much this fills up and I'm sure I'm gonna have to, it's boiling water, so that's too hot anyway. I'm gonna have to add cold water to it to make it lukewarm. Okay, now we're adding some regular water to it. I put the shower thing in there so because it takes up some room and I touched the water and it was hot. So <laughs> too hot for a shower. So this is a good way to do it because now um, it's going to become lukewarm. I said you could just dump it from the top. It'd be much faster. So it's not quite full, but we're going to carry it over there. We've been wondering oh, how much it would uh, spill out as you carry it with it being collapsible. He's got to carry it real slow. And there's my table with my towel and my changing clothes all ready. So we had to go to our blue jug on the back of the truck. That's where we always keep it. No, no reason to carry this stuff. He's going to fill the percolator up and take it over to the privy and dump some more water in the bucket. We have managed to pick the only sunny spot in the entire place. We were tried to book that one over there. We're in 18. 17 is really nice and shady, but we're moving. Um, that's still part of ours. So we're moving over there in the shade. This is the fourth time I think we moved the girls. Here goes nothing. So I got the table right outside with my dry stuff and I got my shampoo and stuff there. Here's my shower. I'm going to put my phone in there. That's where we're moving our to our shade and I opened up our skylight. It's completely open because it's actually hot in here. <laughs> and you know there's hot showers just down the street. But we're testing out our new thing. Okay, I've got it going. This is so fun. So there's our bucket of water. And this 
is pumping the water and this is the shower. So whenever I need to get wet, I'm just gonna pick this up and otherwise it's recirculating into our bucket. So we don't have to turn it on and off. You can see I got plenty of water still left. I really only had to reuse it three times, once to get me wet and once to wash the soap out of my hair. Don't use too much soap. And then the last time after I soaped and shaved everything up um, to get everything off of me. And you see plenty of water going here. The, um, if you can see it, because we're going downhill, all the water is draining that way. And I will add that it was the perfect temperature water. So one percolator full of boiling water and then to fill the rest of it up. Yay, all dressed and ready to come out. Yay! <laughs> my first shower at my campsite. So you only need a little bit of water to brush your teeth and you can do that anywhere. So we have a camp stove toaster that is from the late 1960s from my uh, family camping that we used back then. It sits over the main burner of a camp stove, makes four slices and looks like this. So we got some eggs and beef going and cheese. So there are wires, wait, see there's four wires and you just lean the toast up on it. How ingenious is that? That's a lot of toast for us, but a lot of everything for us, but I'm, we're gonna eat I'm it. curious. It's got holes for the heat to come up from the bottom. I don't know if you can see the holes. Fun. Okay, so when your toast gets just right, you turn it over. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. It's so simple. That was quick. We bought cinnamon sugar, butter for our toast. It turned out perfect. And I've got a book I've been trying to read. And since we have an electric site, we brought our fan. I want to fold our privy. He just tilted it to the side to dump out the water. 